well, enjoy your flight because now that you're all comfy and tight and cozy, get ready to get socked in soon. Travel fees are about to take another leap and fast. And we're not talking about airlines charging you more for where you sit and what you take, but even how you buy a ticket and from whom to Gabe Saglier on what you can do to protect yourself right now. So, Gabe, they've really upped the ante on some of these fees, some of them doubling and tripling over the course of the last few weeks. What do you do as a flyer coming in to sort of at least shield yourself from most of them? Yeah, and that's, that's the fact uh, of the matter, uh, Neil. The fact, this is the new normal. These fees aren't going anywhere. They make these airlines a lot of money, uh, more than $6 billion uh, just uh, last year, uh, and that's just the reservation change fees and the baggage fees. All the other fees, like the, uh, you know, the better seat on, in front of the plane and the, and the food and the entertainment, they don't have to report those fees. So that's another several billion dollars right there. And, and there are uh, a so lot this of is... new ones that are coming on. We're going to show some of them, but this is stuff that just, just recently added. But let's go through some of it. What's well, the, you know, what certainly if you've not... Yeah, I mean, if you're flying for the first time uh, in a while in summer 2013, the reservation change fee has gone up. Uh, so if you're looking at, uh, you know, what used to be $150 to change your ticket, it's now 200 and that's even on one-way tickets. So if you're looking at a family of four traveling together, if you don't know exactly when and where you're going and you got to change your plans but you, later you, you, on. But a lot of that's familiar, but you're saying they, that you, they might get the right idea in their heads to start charging for using like an overhead bin? I mean... Well, yeah, if you, you and I were having this conversation a couple of years ago, the idea of charging for that overhead bin space would be, uh, you know, would be uh, ludicrous. But sure enough, we have uh, three airlines now, three low-cost carriers that do charge for overhead bin space, frontier up to 100 bucks to put your bag in the overhead bin space. Uh, and I can see the legacy carriers, the big ones, the Deltas and Uniteds and Americans following suit. Because, but wait a minute, uh, even if you bring on acceptable luggage that you can carry on the plane, if you... And you have nowhere to put it. Sometimes it won't fit under the seat, or if it doesn't fit under the seat and you put in the overhead, game over. They'll charge you. It'll cost you if you are flying Spirit, Allegiant, or Frontier. Uh, it's free if it'll fit in, in, uh, underneath the seat in front of you, but that overhead bin space right now is becoming prime real estate. The other option would be to gate check your bags. That's always a good option before you even board. But I, you know, that overhead bin space now becoming prime real estate, and I don't think those fees are going anywhere. Spirit started it, Allegiant followed suit, and now Frontier just a couple of weeks ago instituted that same fee. Uh, lo you know, looking uh, ahead at uh, what other fees might come down the pike, anything that has to do with convenience or giving you sort of that VIP feel as a traveler could easily carry a, a fee. So if you're showing up at the airport, for example, and you've got to print your boarding pass or actually check into your flight, they, that could actually be something that uh, airlines could charge for. Even Currently, if you use one does. of their kiosks or no? Well, so far the kiosks are free, but that could definitely change. Spirit does charge you if their agent prints you a boarding pass. Let's say you're checking in your bags and you want, it, and you want your boarding pass. That's another 10 bucks from Spirit Airlines. They're the only ones doing it so far, but that's, that could be something that on the horizon other airlines could, could follow suit on, and the kiosk could become the next chapter uh, in, in that particular sort of convenience uh, fee, uh, arena. And then, you know, priority. I mean, we love feeling like we're a VIP. Uh, a lot of us who fly frequently take advantage of this new T TSA pre-check program. Yes, yes. Uh, but j j yeah, just being able to, to, to get on a much shorter and faster security lane, that's something that on the horizon could carry a fee as well. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Uh, Gabe, thank you very much. Uh, my my free advice for you back home on this same subject, uh, you can sit on, on your carry-on, this way they don't know, and just say, hey, I'm tall. Uh, or you can fly commando, can't you? Come on, I got you thinking.